Almost every small community in Maine has a general store. By connecting Maine's farm families to the economic markets beyond their personal reach, the town store enabled them to get the necessities and luxuries that could neither be produced on their own land nor obtained through trade with their neighbors. Farmers would often trade their products with the store owner, who in turn would either trade it to others in the community or with the merchants who that brought goods by wagon from the metropolitan areas of Bangor, Portland, and Boston. This two-way exchange of goods was called bartering, and it was widely used in Maine until cash became more readily available during the early 1900s. The use of cash created a one-way exchange of commodities, which enabled farmers and merchants to effectively store a tradable good, cash, for longer periods of time than was ever possible with perishable agricultural products. The store, along with the church, served as a hub for the social life of a rural community. With a visit to the store, one could hear the local gossip, receive news from the large cities, pick up their mail, complain about politicians with an old friend, and just feel involved in the activity of a rural community. The store here at the museum is designed to give you the feel of going into town and contains many authentic historic items. For instance, the counters come from the Charles Hodgson store, which operated from 1820 until about 1912 in the East Corinth area. As you proceed towards the back of the store, you will see a 1931 telephone on the wall to your left. When the Rural Electric Administration began expanding electricity to rural areas in the 1920s, the telephone was not far behind, and the general store was often the first place to offer such a convenience. The addition of a phone to the store was sure to increase business. People who were eager to try out the new contraption would travel to the store, where they could receive messages from distant relations and pay to return the call. If you look on the shelves that sit on the far wall, you can see the boxes of spices and other imports that would have been for sale. By continuing along the outside wall of the store, you can view a large ice box and an American account register system, which was used to keep track of accounts. The flip-up panels were used to organize sales slips. When people came in to settle their bill, the store clerk could look up the name and account number on a list that was kept under the glass. The clerk could then organize the sales slips and figure out exactly what the customer owed. On another wall is a set of combination style mailboxes. These boxes were commonly located at the store for the same reason that the phone was. The combination lockbox became popular at around the turn of the century. Prior to the lockable box, a person's mail would be placed in an individualized pigeonhole behind the counter. A postal worker would wait behind the counter to retrieve a customer's mail for them. If you look into these boxes, originally from Hope, Maine, you may find a letter from long ago. Click the link in the description below for your next clue.